What was your experience like here at Tomorrow's Leaders and um, what is your, your takeaway from it? Like I thought the kids were going to be shy because of adults and stuff, but everybody really did participate and it was fun, it was actually fun. It wasn't just like a whole bunch of knowledge and facts and stuff being thrown at you. And my experience was great. I liked how I learned a lot of things in the community, how teams came together. My favorite part was when we did the circle and we kind of just all brought our thoughts together as one to show that we are one community and we are one. And it just was very inspiring. We inspired people that we never talked to and we got to meet people we never talked to. And just, um, just shows how we want to make a difference in the world. Just being teenagers or in eighth grade or you know, whatever age we are we can make a difference. I think like when I tell my friends that are in youth camp or like they kind of know about it a little bit like not the ones that I'm like really close with the ones who don't know about it they always ask like oh what is it or they just like automatically just think like it's just a after school activity and we just hang out and you stuff. I mean someday you know we be not meeting we do that but um when we really get down to it and like we do a real project and stuff like that and I tell them like the police was there or I tell them that um, we raised so and so much money how we did um, with the family that we did um, and just the little things that they be like wow like y'all really like out here and we the same age as them so they for me it's like they looking from the outside and they like they doing that you know like it's corny to say that but like I could be out here doing the same thing you know like really out here changing lives like um, and just helping out just trying to make everything better um, just so that you're aware, the youth that are part of this planning team selected Madison to serve as the keynote speaker. And so we're thrilled um, that she was able to join us today. To start your own business, make sure you have a team. Whether it's your family or close friends, like make sure you have like that core group. To have your business or just in life in general, having a core group of people that will be there to support you is important. Because in this world, you will not be far into success without because first of all, I'm short and I'm 16. A lot of people might think that I like I'm like 10. I'm just like, oh, what does she know about creative business? I feel like some people like underestimate my abilities, but um, just have to prove them wrong. <laughs> I've been doing about like showing a documentary about um, discrimination and like just introducing people to the fact that like. Things are good, I mean, things are good in like other places. It has like opened people's eyes about the stuff that they can do to help and the fact that like there's people out there that really need help. To get the satisfaction of helping somebody else, like we did a homeless, homeless care packages, we did a homelessness reception, we did a cleaning to speak out, um, we did a recycling project, we did um, a bake sale to raise money for. Um, a youth care member that passed away for his family. Like, just getting the satisfaction of helping somebody else um, is just a really, like, I would say, a humbling experience for me. And Youth Can has, like, connected me to a whole bunch of different other um, community organizations that I've joined recently, like Restorative Justice or Reality Check. You can't really do anything if you don't have a template for it. Uh, like, it's you really can't do anything if you don't see people doing it, just like people like who look like you doing it too. So, like as a black young person doing stuff, other black young people are gonna try to do stuff too, and other people of my age are gonna try to do stuff too. And I like being their role model for people.